Hey guys, Nova Explosion, and welcome to a bit of an odd one for stream today. I'm wondering how many people, like, actually heard of this game. We're playing KO the Kangaroo, round two. I don't know why the round two is, like, in between KO and the Kangaroo, but it is KO the Kangaroo, round two. Now, what is this game? And also, why am I playing round two without, like, a round one? Um, this is a, the second game in a very underrated franchise. Maybe underrated is not the word, but... In a unknown Polish franchise, I think this franchise is Polish, uh, KO the Kangaroo, which is like a platformer, think like Crash Bandicoot or Sly Cooper, anything like that. But, um, this is the second game. The first game was for the Dreamcast, and then this game got a se- that game got a sequel for, like, PS2, GameCube, and Xbox, like, all the sixth generation consoles. And I think there's a third one, too, which I haven't played. But I loved this game growing up. I played this on my GameCube. I remember I had this game and I would play this game a lot on my GameCube. It was a fun time, a good little platformer. So I'm excited to play it. Um, I could have played the first one. I actually never, um, I never played the first one, but I really wanted to play this one because this is the one I grew up with. So we're going to new game it up, basically. Uh, a lot of people probably haven't heard of this game because KO the Kangaroo didn't like uh, take off or anything. They actually made a reboot for modern consoles. Maybe we'll check that one out too. But let's, uh, new game. My dog just. Finally! When it comes to parrots, you know that I'm the best. I can fly for hours. Don't ever need to rest. I know it all, so it's easy to see why no silly hunter will ever catch me. So I found you at last! Shh! Be quiet! Stop that racket! They'll hear us for sure! We need you! Only you can help us! The horrible, mean, cruel hunter has started to kidnap animals again! The hunter is surrounded by vicious henchmen! To get to him, you'll have to take care of them first! But Parrot, can't you see that I need help too? Hmm, let me think! Where are you going? First of all, K.O. could have easily went through those bars. Second of all, <laughs> this voice acting isn't great. Oh, I love these idle animations. They're so great. The voice acting isn't great, but I do like the voice for K.O. I find it adorable. I love that he's Australian. Oh my word, look at him go. Yeah, I have not played this game since like, oh, I don't even remember. It's been like at least maybe like 10 years, maybe even more than that, to be honest. I have, like, I have never emulated this game. It said I had a save file because I had the audio balance and test it and see if the game ran. Uh, I played this on GameCube, like my official GameCube, like actually my GameCube, like my real life GameCube. I'm playing this on PCSX2 because that's the emulator I had set up. But man, I have not touched this game in like at least a decade. It is crazy. But I remember absolutely adoring this game. It's not gonna like blow you away, but it's a fun time. I mean, it, I wouldn't be playing it on Twitch if it wasn't a fun time. Hey, there's a ladybug right here. But yeah, Kao can jump. He can double jump with double X. He can roll with the square button and also do a punching combo. My dog is going insane right now. Sorry if you hear barking. She is upstairs with me today because, like, no one else is here to watch her. And since my other dog passed away, we don't like to leave her alone. But yeah, here we are. But yeah, oh man, this uh, this game is a huge nostalgia ride for me. Go this way. The dark docks. Look at these loading screens that are very obviously like sixth generation. I'm an athlete too! Let me in, you big old... 
Joe Perry. Got me money. Three thousand ducats or else nothing. Get wrecked. Kato, finally! The hunter is preparing a new convoy of captured animals. You have to stop him. The only way to free the poor beasts is to get on board to save them. You need three thousand ducats to bribe the boss man so he'll let you enter the harbor. Go talk to the beaver voice. He'll take you to the forest where you'll surely find some coin. You can orient yourself by using the right analog stick or pressing the L2 button. Yeah, okay. That dang hunger up to no good as always. Can I grab this? I sure can. I don't remember what these uh, purple crystals do. I don't think coins do that much, but the purple crystals do something I can't really recall. But yeah, there are hub worlds in this game. I'd argue, like, I don't know why there are hub worlds. They don't really serve much of a purpose. And we'll see why in a second. But we, we can take a look, a look around here while I get used to the controls again. I said the sentence really weird. It's over here, huh? Nothing. All right. My death is over there if I fall in that water. Bum, 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 bum. This is, uh, yeah, I think this is relevant for a boss fight later. Give me these coins. I need these coins. This is just like Mario Bros. Bum, bum. But yeah, Kale the Kangaroo. Very, very, like, um, hidden franchise. Like, not many people know what this game is. And they even rebooted the game, like, for modern consoles, which I haven't played yet. But maybe this game will reinvigorate me to try that one out. I think at one point I was, like, curious about that one, and then I remembered, like, hey, there's one on the PS2 and GameCube that I used to play a lot, and that's this one. Pack. I love that it says pack. Deku, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Most games around this time did hub worlds, did they? What other games? When did this game come out? 2004? I don't remember. I forgot the year for this game. I don't think hub worlds were, um, that much of a staple, were they? In, like, the PS2 GameCube era for platformers? I'm realizing I didn't play many platformers in that era as I thought. Sonic Adventure 1 had, a uh, hub worlds, but that's, like, all I can think of. And an 06, but that came out on, a uh, PS3 and Xbox. Bum, bum. Yeah, there's not too much in this hub world. It's just, like, extra coins, extra gems. Gems do something. I think it's, like, for minigames or something. I think they unlock, like, minigames. Bum, bum. Getting used to the controls again. It's very weird. Can I look, look at the options? What the? That's weird. That must be an emulation issue. This game actually has audio sliders. Granted, it's by percentage. I still salute them, though. There are five purple crystals here. Zero stars. Stars are something we'll get to later. And 36 out of 50 coins. Let me save the game. Yeah, this file ignored this. I had to make sure the game ran. That's why I did it. I have not played this game since my official GameCube. I have never touched this game since I had a GameCube. I still have my GameCube somewhere in my closet. But I have not touched this game since, like, it's been at least a decade. I kid you not. Uh, I don't have 3,000 ducats yet, so let's just talk to the beaver. Huh? Hello, Kale. I've been waiting for you. Hi, beaver. Shh. We have to be careful. Someone might be watching us. We lived in peace and harmony in our forest. One day, the terrible hunter arrived. He bribed the greedy shaman, who's now in cahoots with him. With his army of loyal henchmen, he captured the badgers and forced them to toil for him. I hope you'll be able to help us and restore the reign of peace in the forest. I'll do my best. Very well. You want to go into the forest? Yeah, what can go wrong? Hopefully no one's going to start like a forest fire. Okay, here we go. So 20 stars, 20 gems or crystals. And then 150 coins. Let's do it. <laughs> the voice acting for this game is like not great. But I do, I have a soft spot for Kao's voice. Kao's voice is adorable. 
Ah, the good old beaver's forest. I really hope the hunter doesn't start like a forest fire or something. That'd be darn unfortunate for these animals. I don't know if coins do anything in this game. I can't remember. I think they're just needed for the ducats or whatever. Here's your first test. Find my friend. He'll show you how to use the nuts. Great. Where can I find this friend of yours? Take a look behind my cabin. You'll find coins hidden in the flower pots and boxes. Press the circle button to break the objects. You can also attack your enemies by pressing the circle button. Yeah, cool. These are called ducats, I think. Because they said 3,000 ducats. I think ducats are just the coins. And those, I'm pretty sure, link to minigames. Stars, um, are also relevant. You get them from, like, killing enemies, I think? At least flies? Can I kill these things? Or are they just hanging out? Okay, no, they're just- they're just chilling. I'll let them live. Those flies seem harmless. Mosquitoes, flies, dragonflies, whatever they are. I don't know insects. Who does know insects, am I right? Oh no, a bomb! Kale almost died there. He probably wouldn't have died. But you know what I mean. Punch, punch. I'm a boxing kangaroo. <laughs> you say that if there's going to be one? <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Hi, Kale. Pick up the nut and press the triangle button to throw it. The longer you hold the button down, the farther the nut will go. How's this go again? You like press triangle, I think? Yeah. That was really jank lock on. I do not feel like that's where the nut should have gone, but it worked out for me in the end. I don't know if this is one of the games where the GameCube version runs better, by the way. Because I'm pretty sure, like, um, games like Sonic- I know Sonic Heroes. I played that on the GameCube, and apparently that runs better on the GameCube. That'd be unfortunate. The reason I'm playing this on PS2 is because I had a PS2 emulator set because I just did like Wild Arms and Shadow Hearts, so it was just easier for me. Oops. I played this on the P on the GameCube, like my official GameCube. I mean, game looks fine so far. It looks like it's running pretty well. Oop. Give me all these ducats. Kale's voice sounding, I think, Australian. They reminded me of another game, Ty. Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. I've never heard of that one. Was that also in, like, this uh, PS2, GameCube, Xbox era? That's another one I haven't heard of. Yeah, Kale the Kangaroo's History. It's from a Polish uh, company, I think. I think this, uh... Ironically enough, even though, uh, obviously Kangaroo's Australian, I think the, uh, company is Polish. There are apparently three games. The first one was on the Dreamcast. The third one, I don't know what the third one was on, but there's a third one that comes after this one. But this is the only one I played. And they also rebooted the franchise for, like, PS4, probably Xbox, like the new Xbox. They have, like, a reboot as well. Yeah, I know how to throw nuts, don't you worry. I think I have to get this tree trunk. Still have my copy of the first game, <laughs> never checked out the other two. That's like me with the KO franchise, except I played the second one and never checked out the first and the third. Don't fall. Don't fall here, KO. Alright, we finally get some combat. Ow! That was rude. Who does B think it is? It's gonna be hard for me to get used to the fact that I press square the roll and O to attack. For me, that feels weird. I don't know why. Please die. Thank you. Yeah, so enemies will drop stars. And stars are gonna be relevant for something. I'll keep it a surprise for now, but... Stars are... 
probably the most important collectible. The gems, I really don't remember what the purple crystals do, but I think it unlocks like mini games. But the um the stars are the most important on one. The green button to open the gate by pressing the X button, then the square button. You can also use that combination to attack an enemy. Don't forget that there are some enemies that you can only fight like that. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Grand pound. Alright. Let's grab these uh ducats. How many um 150 ducats? There's uh 17 more crystals and then 17 more stars. Back to the hub. No, not back to the hub. How do I just press start? I, I was expecting O to take me out of the menu. That's not how it works in this game though. Oh, another bell. That's neat. Hey, you. Get your hammering shenanigans out of here. Nice. I love the skip. That's also really cute. Kale's animations are honestly like one of my favorite things about this game. His idle animations, his skipping animation. It's so great. This game was like, obviously like nothing. It wasn't like a big hitter, but it has a lot of charm here. And I can't help but adore it. Just KO alone has a really cool design and I wish his I wish it took off more. I'm all about that. He <laughs> uses his ears to go across this, which is really neat. another bumblebee it sure is oh nice star hello i see more of these to grab i think i remember the mini games of this game being mid i think i tried them but they're kind of mid and you don't really get anything for them so we'll see how much of the mini games we do in this playthrough but i think i remember them being kind of mid And not needed for like 100%. Like you don't really get anything for them. And there's no like. No there is a percentage completion. It might link to percentage. But like. The mini games don't really get you much besides that. I don't think. I don't remember. Hey guys. Goodbye. Stop. Let me. Yeah. Nice. Alright you, you gotta roll with these guys. On these pharaoh seed type enemies. Just roll. Rolling, rolling, always rolling. All the dude all day. We get punching gloves. We could just roll. Am I missing anything? I think we're fine. Hey, just look at Kale's idol animations. They're so cute. So much charm. The jump roping one is my favorite. I think Kale will also like fall asleep if you wait like a long period of time. Um, oh, I see a beaver up there. He looks like he could use some help. Nope. Punch, punch. I'm very angry. Uh, I don't know. Let me go this way first. I'm gonna see if there's, like, um, extra collectibles. We still need, uh, 12 more. No, no, we have 12. We need, uh, 8 more stars, and then we need 12 more gems. Ah, here we go. Two stars here and some gems. Probably all I can do. I think the rest, the beaver up there, is probably from going inside. There is an off chance I'll have to take my dog downstairs, by the way. But for now, we're fine. 